leave She my pretty young thing and I do anything for her Pretty on thing, you need some loving from a real one. I wanna love you. Pretty on thing, you need some loving, uh, and I'm a real one. Hold up, what's up? What's your name? I shoulda asked the verse, but folk don't throw shade. A lot of girls do too much for that fame, but I can get to know you just from your pay. Hello everyone, Alexis here. Some people say there aren't any shortcuts in life. I'm here to tell you those people might just be wrong. So, how you guys doing today? I'm trying to do better with coming back to you with more and more videos. I'm sorry if the lighting looks a little off in this video. I'm not sure what's going on with it. And I'm doing it at nighttime. So, yeah. So, this video is about how I got into med school with a very, I'll just use the word, probably mediocre MCAT score. It wasn't just bad, but it wasn't what you need to get into, you know, a really good school to be a very competitive student. So I ended up with a 490. I think the last video I did, I showed that I had a 486 and I retook the test. So I retook it, I got a 490 which actually was a lot lower than my practice scores. I was getting like 496s on my practice test and that's what the score I was really trying to get. So, but you know, that things didn't work out that way and I still got a 490. So, I definitely could have studied harder. I mean, like I said, I take our responsibility and definitely could have studied harder, put aside more time to get the score I needed to get to be a more competitive student, but I settled for the score that I had and I decided to still apply with that score and if I didn't get in I would just retake the test again be more serious about it this time and reapply to med school so I really didn't want to take that route but so after applying to about 17 I think I applied to like 17 or 18 schools I received no's from mostly all of them except for one from except for one so far and so one school I applied to actually didn't go through exactly AMCAS was American University of the Caribbean, which is in St. Martin of uh, Virgin Islands, and which is in the United States. And uh, it was a school that I applied to because my aunt introduced me to it. She was telling me she knew someone who went there and they told me it was a pretty good school. And so I wanted to look more into it. So I looked up a lot of things about the American University of the Caribbean. Um, I saw that, I mean, it is an American school. It's not, although it is in the Caribbean, it's not one of the Caribbean medical schools, if you know what I'm talking about. So it does go off of the um, American system. All of the classes are easily transferable. They have really good um, rates when it comes to matching with residencies and also when it comes to taking like their step tests and step exams. So I did a lot of research into the school. And so um, the application was free, unlike most medical school applications. So, I mean, I figured why not? And a lot of things were easy. I think the transcript was even not, didn't even have to be official. Um, a lot of the questions I felt were um, I mean, the application was very comparable to a regular MCAS application, but I would say it was just slightly more simple. Like, I think I could, I finished completing it in like a day or two. And whatever didn't take me, took me a while was something technical. But other than that, like, the application was very self-explanatory, as most um, secondary applications are. And I don't think it even had a secondary application, it was just one application. It literally took me maybe like a week after submitting my application to get a call back from the school which is something you definitely don't get when it comes to any other medical school you usually have to wait till whenever like I remember I've been applying to medical school since this time last year and I just now received a rejection letter from the school like this week so it can take you months to hear a yes or no from a school depending upon when you apply so the perks of applying to this school I will say is that you hear from them very in a very fast manner um they also do video interviews for someone like me who was actually traveling a lot during my senior year and who also as a college student we don't really have that much money it's uh, really great that you don't actually have to fly to the virgin islands for your interview you can actually do it online and i will say it wasn't very um bad quality or anything like that i feel like i I feel like I was able to communicate with my interviewer very well and I feel like we were able to communicate in a great manner because I believe he was able to present the type of student I was greatly to the staff 
in order for me to be accepted into the medical school and it took maybe a week or two after that for me to be accepted so i will say that was fast very 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 fast so yes like i said i had a 490 i did have a 38 gpa and they have a scholarship where if you have i believe above a 37 i'm like i think i had a 37 i'm not sure 37 38 one of one I think it was 3.8. I had a 3.8 GPA, but if you had a 3.8 or above for one of their scholarships, you're able to receive full tuition, which I thought was great because when it comes to medical schools, like I said, I received about 17 no's so far. So when you have so many medical schools say no, and then you have one medical school say yes, we understand that you have a low MCAT score, but we're also willing to offer you free tuition. It seems more... I'm more appreciative of the hard work I've done as a student. Like they, they understand that I've done a lot of things at school. I've had great grades. I've also done a lot of things outside of school when it comes to interns, research, shadowing, volunteer work. And I feel like for a lot of people whose MK scores is the only thing keeping them back, I feel like this is a school who shows you their appreciation for the hard work that you do, although your MK score may not reflect the type of hard work you usually put in for something. So. I feel like I really um, love the fact that my school gave me a chance and that they, you know, stepped down on faith and basically said that they believed in me as much as I believed in myself, especially when a lot of these schools will tell you basically they don't believe in you and, but they wish you luck, of course. So, like I said, it was pretty much, you know, a great opportunity. I am really glad that I applied to the school. It was so last minute. I never would have expected that this would be the school that I'd be going to. It seems like a great atmosphere. I've done a lot of research when it comes to, you know, people who've gone there and, you know, how well they do in their residency and their tests. So those are all very important things to look for when it comes to a medical school. So for me, like I said, it is definitely extremely difficult to get into any medical school with a MCAT score lower than 510 or probably higher but for those of you who struggle with getting a higher MK score and who may have things in the way of you achieving your score such as jobs or problems that you don't expect to come and you uh, you don't expect or see coming and you still want to apply to a school I say that American University of the Caribbean is a great school to apply to like I said the application is free it's very um, hassle free you get communication back easily and it definitely was like a step on faith. It was just something I just went and did. And I definitely didn't think that I would be going to that school. But I'm really, really glad. And I'm really accept. I'm glad that they accept me as a student that I am. And I'm willing to, you know, see how much the difference in the environment will be for me. Of course, you guys know I studied abroad last semester. So I feel like um, going to medical school in the islands isn't necessarily going to be too distracting for me. Because I'm kind of used to being, not used to being, but I have traveled in an academic setting although it wasn't very difficult i'm gonna have to learn how to balance being in a beautiful place with more difficult work but other than that like i said i think um i made a great decision and more so it made the decision for me the decision was kind of made for me but i'm very happy that i did it and i think you guys should definitely look into it if you can't achieve the score that you feel like is competitive to go to the schools that you want to i suggest maybe looking into american university of the caribbean and looking at you know some of the facts about it and you know maybe seeing if you can get in contact with a few alumni who may have been there and definitely, you know, just doing your research when it comes to a medical school. You know, medical school is perfect, but it's all about finding one that kind of fits you best. And I feel like my school kind of chose me, even though I didn't choose it, which kind of happens to me when it comes to a lot of schools. But I feel like they definitely show how much they appreciate me and they definitely, you know, want me to come to that school. And I think it's a really great opportunity and I'm really excited about it so you guys definitely check that school out I wish you good luck in all of your journeys and careers especially those who are on the healthcare field especially trying to become a medical doctor let me know what you guys are trying to do in life if any type of occupations or dreams you wish to have and I definitely wish you good luck in all of the I wish you guys good luck in everything that you do. Definitely leave a comment, like, subscribe, join the conversation if you believe, you know, maybe this school isn't the best. If you believe that you should just wait and take a gap year if you don't get in, if you just really just don't want to move away from your family. Or if you just basically have heard bad things about all Caribbean schools or you're not sure if the Caribbean is much different from this school. Just anything. You can just like, comment, subscribe, look up. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you later.